Okay, let's let the palms face up on the legs. Slide your shoulders down the back. Elbows relaxed by your sides. Palms of the hands face up. And bring your pointer finger and your thumb to gently touch. Gyan Mudra. Let your feet relax. Maybe close the eyelids. And just find that alignment for your spine where you're not tilting forward or back. Instead, you're right at center. And gently seal the lips and begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Make your breath slow and smooth. Notice any thoughts or feelings that might be present with you this morning. And notice any intentions that you might like to set for this practice today. Draw your awareness back to your breath. Contract the throat slightly so that you can hear your breath sounding like the ocean. Let the eyelids float open if they were closed. Release the hands by the sides, palms facing forward. And on an inhale, sweep the arms forward and out. On an exhale, let them open out to the sides and down. Slow breath. Reverse the direction. Lubricating the shoulder joint, opening both lungs. One more. And wrap the arms around your chest. And let the elbows glide down and try to lift your sternum up. Circle the head. Circle the other way.
Bring the head to center. Release the arms and reach your hands for the sides of the chair. And create a little back bend. Glide the shoulders back and together behind you as your chest and ribs reach forward. You're welcome to look down here, opening these upper backs of the shoulders more. You can stay looking down, or if you want to open the underside of the chin and neck, you're welcome to look up. And you can always hold your head with a hand just to support it. Release. Bring your hands to the knees, rounding. Moving with your breath, inhale, flexing forward. Exhale, flexing back. Let's add the arms. The next time you come forward, cactus the elbows, reach them back, and draw the elbows into the belly as you round. Inhale into cactus. Good. Exhale, lean forward a little bit more. Draw the front of your ribs towards your spine. And reach your arms out like airplane wings. Circle out the wrists. Press into your feet a tiny bit. Building strength in the core. And lower a little bit more. When you're ready, gently fold, let your head hang. You're welcome to sigh it out. You can even yawn. Press into your feet, reach your wings wide, reach it out and out. Palms touch, bring them to your heart. Lift the heart, bow the head. On an inhale, reaching out with cactus arms. Exhale, folding. Inhale as you come about halfway. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, reach out and up. Palms touch, bring them to your heart. One breath. Bring your hands to your hips or waist and let your right foot hover over the ground. Just pick a spot to gaze. Keep your breath. Good, you're building strength. Now reach your foot forward. It's just barely hovering over the floor and circle out this ankle. 
you'll feel that whole lower leg opening and strengthening. Reach the arms forward, flex your foot, try to lift your foot a little bit and point your toes, hug your knee into your chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Let it down, reach out and up. Airplane wings, reach out and down. Sweep the floor, inhale halfway. Exhale, sweep the floor, inhale all the way out and up. Exhale, hands come to the waist. Hover your left foot over the ground, pick one spot to gaze. Can you allow a little bit of extra spaciousness to pass through the mind? A moment of stillness combined with effort. Start to reach the foot forward. It's just barely hovering over the ground. Like my leg can rest a little bit on the lip of the chair. Circle out the ankle. You'll feel your core is still working. Other way. And the leg is already tired as we're coming into. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, draw it in. Might feel a tiny bit harder than normal. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Let it down. Reach it out and up. Exhale. Hinge with wide arms. Sweep the floor. Inhale, halfway. Sweep the floor. Inhale, all the way up. Palms touch, bring them to your heart. Sigh it out. Oh. Release your hands to your legs. Let me just turn so I'm facing. Straight forward. And circle your upper body around, Sufi grind, massaging all those internal organs. Strengthening digestion. Other way. This also helps to strengthen everything that is surrounding and supporting your spine. Slow it down. And bring your spine to center, sitting tall. Let's take the strap and I like to have it about half of its normal length. We're going to bring it over the head and also inch your feet wide. So you might have to sit back in the chair a little bit here. Your toes are jutting out a little more than the heels, so the toes are under the knees. Okay, we're going to go side to side. Keep it gentle at first. You're welcome to inhale to center, exhale to the side, or anything that feels good with your breath. Mm -hmm. 
Good. You can let it get a little bigger if you want. Reach it straight up and reach the hands back. One more breath, lift the chest a little higher. Release. Let the strap rest on your right leg. Bring your hands to the knees, elbows jut out to the sides, leaning forward. First, dip your right shoulder down and look to the left. Switch. Now go side to side a couple times, dipping one shoulder down and then the other. Nice. Bring it to center. Open those knees wide as you fold a little bit more. You're pressing the knees away from each other. Stay here or reach for the floor, bowing down. Look forward, cap the knees, rise up. Leave your left arm on your left leg. Let the palm face up, pointer finger and thumb touch, Gyan Mudra. Reach your other arm up and over your head. Draw your thumb towards the back wall. If possible, look up towards the sky. This is a variation of extended side angle. On an inhale, rise up and over to the other side. You're welcome to look down or you can look up towards the sky. Ride your inhale up to center. Let your hands Come down towards the ground, sweeping the floor. On your inhale, you rise up, elbows or wrists cross. Sorry, wrists, not elbows. On your exhale, sweep the floor, give a little bounce, and rise up. On this next exhale, let it out through the mouth like you're foggy up a window. Next time you sweep the floor, release down, forward fold with wide legs. Don't let your knees collapse in towards each other. Try to keep them out. You can ground through the outer edges of your feet. Nod the head yes. Shake it no.
Inhale, rise up halfway with wide arms. Draw your belly button to the spine. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Your other arm reaches up towards the sky, rising up with your upper body. Good. And then lean away from the knee that has the hand on it. Yeah. We're really getting into the side of the waist today. Opening these gates. Ride your inhale up. Reach the arms out wide. Come down halfway. Beautiful. Bring your right hand over to your left knee. Your other arm reaches up, rising up with your upper body. And then lean away from the knee that has the hand on it. Release. Ooh, close the eyes for a moment, dive inward. Notice any sensations that might be apparent in the body. Notice your breath. Heel toe your feet together, an inch towards the front of the chair. Just sit straight forward today, and let's bring the strap underneath the left foot, reaching it forward. Inch your standing foot out to the side a smidge, and just go side to side a little bit. Elbows are bending down, shoulders are gliding down the back, your belly and your heart are lifting up. Good, take one big circle in each direction. Nice, bring it out to the side. Bring it into the twist. Look away from your foot. Opening. Twisting. Bring it to center, lift up a little higher. Lower it down. Other side, switch. Have that standing foot just a couple inches away. Side to side. I can really feel it on the outer edges today. Remember, every day is different depending on what you may have done yesterday or even a few days before. If you've been traveling, what you've been eating, full circle in each direction. Good, bring it out to the side, reach away, look away from the foot. And twist. Open. Twist. Bring it to center, lift it up, lower it down. Release your strap off to the side, and let's come to standing, rising up. Bring your chair to the top of your mat with the seat facing away.
See if I can lift my camera a tiny bit higher. I got a new camera stand. Yay. <laughs> you can't see it, but it's helpful. <laughs> so coming into mountain, when our palms face forward, our shoulders naturally open. And then if you were to do this, if you were to turn your palms away, then there's this rotation happening and we tend to round, right? And that's what we don't want. So one of the reasons in yoga, we call this mountain pose and we come into this so much is because we're having this openness in the shoulder. And this helps us to be more open in life because this is directly connected to our heart center. Also the palm of the hand being open in front of you helps you to be more open to all that is as well. Let all four corners of the feet sink a little bit. Knees are soft, heart is open. And you're standing tall and still, just like a mountain. On your next inhale, reach the arms out and palms touch, hinging at the hips. Place your hands on the back of the chair and walk back into downward facing dog, leaning back into your sitting bones. Let your heart and head melt. On an inhale, look forward, walk up. Exhale, gentle bow. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms come to the heart. This is Samasthitihi, equal standing pose. Shoulders are gliding down the back, heart is gently lifting. From Samasthitihi, bend the knees, sitting into an imaginary chair. Reach the arms out and up. Today, we'll do a little bit of clearing energy. So we're gonna inhale, reach up with wide hands. Exhale, make fists, draw the elbows back and say, ha. 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 And now let the knees bounce a little bit. Ha. Ah, 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 last two, ah, ah, inhale, reach it up, hold the breath. Exhale, charge your space, opening the arms out and down, returning to mountain. Reach out and up. Hinge. Walk back, downward dog. Bend the knees, bring your left toes out to the left so that your left foot is at a 45 degree angle, lean on it. Step your right foot up to the chair, bending into that front knee, 
Press into the chair, lifting your heart. If you look down, you should be able to see your front big toe. If you can't, then you just need this knee to lean a little bit more towards that pinky toe side of your foot. Stay here or reach the arms up. And slowly sweep the arms forward and down and reach them back. Your chin is hovering over the chin. Inhale, sweep it forward and up. Exhale, down and back. Inhale. Exhale, almost like a wave. One more. Good, reach it up. Bring your hands to the chair, straighten your front knee. Reach your sitting bones back, bend your elbows out to the side, gently folding. You're honoring this right leg. Now look to the left a little bit. So your heart starts to turn a little bit to the left. Let your right forearm rest on the back of your chair. Bring your left hand to your left hip, rotating your heart to the left. Unwind. Let's bend the front knee, lean back, step back, walk it out, down dog. Other side, bend your knees and down dog. Let your right toes stick out to the side. Lean on that right foot. Step your left foot up to the chair. Bending into that front knee. Press into your hands, lifting your heart. Stay here or reach the arms up. Palms face each other. Check to make sure you can see your front big toe. And slowly reach the arms forward and down and then back. Your heart leans forward, but your sitting bones reach back. Like a wave, inhale, sweep it forward and up. Exhale, down and back. Just play with it. Last one. Reach it up. Bring your hands to the back of the chair, straighten your front leg. Let your elbows bend out to the sides as you bow forward, honoring this left leg. You can stay here for a couple more breaths, or if it's comfortable, and it might depend on the kind of chair you have or high, how high the back is, you can look a little bit to the right so your heart starts to face to the right slightly. And then let your left arm rest on the back of the chair. Bring your right hand to your right hip so your heart starts to turn to the right. 
variation of triangle pose. If you're in triangle, unwind. Bend into that front knee, step back, downward dog. Take a breath in stillness. See if you can let the head relax a little bit more. Look forward, walk it up, little fold. Inhale, sit down as you reach out and up. Exhale, shoot to standing, palms touch, bring them to the heart. Samasiti. Let's turn the chair so that the seat is facing you. I'm gonna go back to the other side. And stand about a foot away from the seat of your chair. Spread through your toes, palms face forward, mountain. Notice your drishti, wherever your eyes are landing in front of you. Maybe notice your peripheral vision as you gaze at this point. A sense of awareness all around the body. Inhale, sit down as you reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk back into downward dog. Hang out in down dog, or inhale, glide your heart over your hands for plank. Let the hips drop, lift the heart up dog. Down dog. Bend your knees, bring your left toes out to the side of the 45 degree angle, lean on that left foot. Step your right foot up to the chair. Press into both feet, tuck your tailbone as you reach the arms, warrior one. Reach your right arm forward, left arm back. You're gazing forward, but your heart opens to the side and your back toes might inch back just a smidge, allowing that left hip to open. Straight in your front knee. Bring your left hand to your left hip, reach forward for either the back of the chair or the seat. Rotating your heart to the side. And start to rotate your heart forward, bend into your front knee, reach the arms up, warrior one. If your foot needs adjusting again, because maybe you ended up here, just glide the heel back a little bit. When you're ready, sweep it back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale up. Exhale, hands come to the chair. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Step back, downward dog. Stay here or inhale plank, 
Exhale, hips drop. Inhale, heart lifts. Meeting in down dog. Walk your feet up about halfway in a flat back. And then heel toe your feet wide, so wide that they come off the mat a little bit. And your heels jut out more than your toes. So you're slightly pigeon toed and fold, wide legged fold. Press into your hands, flat back. Draw your heels in a little bit so your toes stick out. Bend into your right knee. And then the left. One more time, right. Left. Center. Flat back, heel toe, your feet together. Downward dog. You bend the knees, your right toes stick out at a 45 degree angle, step your left foot up. Tuck your tailbone as you reach the hands forward and up, warrior one, veer Vajrasana one. You're strong, you're steady. Reach your left hand forward, right arm back. You're gazing forward, but your heart opens to the side. Let your right toe slip back just a half inch. Veer Bhadrasana two. Let your right hand rest on your right hip, straight in your front knee. Reach your left hand forward, either to the back of the chair or to rest on the seat. Triangle pose. Shoulders glide down the back. There's a little twist happening in your belly. Draw the heart forward, bend into your front knee, reach the arms up, your back heel might slip back a smidge. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale, hands touch the chair, come onto the ball of your back foot, step back, downward dog. Last vinyasa, moving through plank and up dog if you choose. Walk it up, flat back. And fold, let your forehead rest on the chair. Bend your knees, sitting down as you reach. Shoot to standing, and you choose either palms come together at the heart or arms open wide in mountain. See if you can close the eyes. 
Notice how everything feels inside. Let's come into our final resting pose. You can rest seated in the chair or lie down on your back. Absorbing everything that we've done. And I'll lead you through a couple minutes of relaxing body awareness. And then we'll rest in silence. Make sure that you're comfortable so that you can fully relax. If any adjustments need to be made, make them now so that you can really let go here. Notice the center of your forehead. Can you relax the skin at the center of the forehead? Relaxing the right temple, left temple, both temples together. Notice your right eye left eye, both eyes together. Feel the right ear, the earlobe, outer edges of the ear, and the ear canal. Feel the whole right ear. Now your left ear, earlobe, outer edges of the left ear, the ear canal, feeling that inner ear. Feel the whole left ear. Feel both ears together. Crown of the head, back of the head, back of the neck, spine. Notice your spine from the neck all the way down to the tailbone. Right arm. Left arm, both arms, heart center, belly, pelvis, feel your right leg. left leg, both legs together, become aware of your whole right side from the crown of the head all the way down to your right foot, right fingertips, whole right side. Become aware of your left side from the crown of the head to the left toes, left fingertips. 
feel the whole left side. And feel both sides together, right and left together as one. Whole body. I'll wake you when the time is right. Enjoy your Shavasana.
And gently deepen your breath. You're welcome to stay as you are as we close out. Or you can make your way to seated and sit on the front edge of the chair, just as we began. And we'll come back into Gyan Mudra. So pointer finger and thumb touch and just let the elbows relax by the sides and the palms face up on the thighs. Take a breath, just honoring your practice. And draw the heels of the hands together, fingertips touch, bringing this to the heart, honoring yourself. And hands come fully together, honoring each other. Namaste.